I took a divine kind of notion and I traveled the ocean to where the wild skies still live. To give that sudden urge to emerge a chance to diverge my life from the commonplace and stare eternity in the face. And I smiled to know that the stars must feel so small, smaller than my soul because they can't stop my roll or the flow of old scrolls leading my whole being to know that if we are all lines of longitude, God is the pole. And this is truth. You see, when I climbed that mountain, I found a fountain of love, stretching from a never-ending horizon to an infinity that can only be described by saying, it's indescribable. I found my voice saying, it rang in the valley, and if I were to tally the number of times that my heart leapt like this, I'd say none. Because each precious moment that has been gifted has had its very own way that has lifted my spirit, and if I could only tell you how my heart has drifted and sifted through the sieve that once seemed so impassable. Bit by bit, I slip a little closer each day. A little closer each day. Because your smile puts a hold on my lips and my heart trips and stumbles into that river of love which spills into the deepest ocean of compassion, and yet I try to fashion a boat to float on these dreams when submerging is what my soul is encouraging, a growth and flourishing of spiritual self separate from the wealth and endless facades of a vapid kind of life. You see, for a while I lost my voice. And if I had a choice, I'd do it again, because in the silence I realized that there are only so many pen strokes that can pour from a half-empty heart. That each blue mark inscribed on a waiting white line comes at a price, and like a gambler's dice, the cost is unknown until the damage is done, so I want to shout to everyone that there is never-ending laughter and eternal sunshine waiting down that road. So lighten your load and start walking.